In 2006, Rare released Viva Pinata on Games for Windows Live and Xbox 360 with limited success, being awarded the best game nobody played by IGN. The game has since become borderline abandonware, and when Games for Windows Live was shut down in 2014, it rendered it pretty much unplayable without some form of modification. I lost my old disc copy, but I was able to download it again online with the help from this user's tutorial. I'd always been curious about the potential to mod this game, but all the files for this game are packaged in a way that make it a huge pain to do so. With a shameful amount of time and effort, and the help of an open source reverse engineering tool called Ghidra, I was able to break into the code of Viva Pinata. At first, I just wanted to mod the game, but I ended up finding a few secret tidbits. I figured that most people don't have the inclination to do something this tedious for a game about farming pinatas, so I documented some things that I found interesting. The first hidden thing I was able to get working in a garden was a test vegetable seed I assumed the devs used for testing the game. By changing the code for a buttercup seed to another variable called seed underscore test veg, buying a buttercup from Costalot store would now give you a seed labeled with a question mark. Sometimes using them would crash the game, but if the game stays alive, you can compare their description and their base value to a normal carrot. The test vegetable says, this seed is ready to spread its wild, untamed growth over the earth. Is it a weed or, or quick profits? Only you know what your garden needs. The normal carrot reads, if you turn this seed upside down, it would give you a good clue as to what will grow from it. The test object also has a base value of 100, which is way off from a normal carrot seed, but they both end up just growing into normal carrots. I accidentally attracted a bunny comb in my test garden, which ended up eating all the fake carrots and becoming a resident, so I guess this test vegetable seed turns into a carrot and just works as normal afterwards. Here's the place in memory where the buttercup seed used to be, and I've instead replaced the string with seed underscore test veg. Most of the normal seeds are labeled like you'd expect, but there are a few off variables like seed spare or seed aaaaaa. Those variables seem like they were incomplete or just left in for whatever reason. Attempting to swap in a seed spare just made the game crash when I tried to buy one, and when I swapped in a variable called seed underscore helper for the buttercup, it didn't really seem to do anything, and it just acted as normal. I actually haven't completed the later parts of the game in a normal playthrough, so when I started looking around in the code, I hadn't seen every plant type yet. I looked at a list on the wiki and noticed one of the seeds in the code wasn't included, the seed underscore snowdrop variable. As far as I'm aware from looking online, the snowdrop is a special flower only found in the sequel, Viva Pinata Trouble in Paradise, abbreviated as TIP. I'm pretty sure you can only even get snow in TIP, which is required to grow the flower. I was excited for a hot minute, but I tried swapping it out and nothing changed. I'm assuming it was planned to be included, but had to be cut for time. There are even references in the code to other parts of the snowdrop flower. I also tried replacing the buttercup flower head with a snowdrop flower head variable, but when I tested it with a toadstool flower head, it just crashed when the flower was trying to bloom. Something that made it mildly irritating to search for piñatas is that none of the piñatas are labeled according to their in-game names. For example, instead of being called a serapint, I'm pretty sure in the code they're referred to as Boomslang, which is the real-life name of a deadly African tree snake that looks like what serapints are based on. Other animals are labeled accordingly, like candories are just canaries and the mallow wolf is called a wolf. I was lucky to find a small but active Viva Pinata community, and some of the more technical folks started looking into more options. Unfortunately, attempting most of the more exciting changes resulted largely in cursed and broken results. User Kai the Firefly started with swapping NPCs, editing the Lethos variable to be Cedos. He becomes small, A poses, and the game becomes much more likely to crash. Kaya also tried to swap a couple of pinatas, starting with swapping a serpent for a Juicy Goose, resulting in this Chernobyl-style creature. Their mad science also created the Pretz Pig, a mixture of a pixie and a Pretz tail. The one positive side effect is that loading in this abomination makes the awards for having a pixie appear. Thank you, Kaya. Other wonderful creations include this Sparrowmint Macaracoon hybrid from user Firestorm, and this world Mallow Wolf creature I forced into an unfortunate existence. For anyone who would like to try finding more secrets and modding the game yourself, I put together a small step-by-step -step document of how I got it to work at a basic level. I'll put the link to the Google Doc in the video description. Every piece of software I used is free, and the setup process really isn't super hard if you just want to try it out and look around. Thanks to everyone who joined in and shared their knowledge with me. The community is still trying to figure out how to do more useful things with this, including modifying save files without corrupting them. Hopefully you were able to learn something, or at least found it interesting. If you did, consider subscribing or leaving a like on the video. And if you have any questions on getting started yourself or about the code, feel free to ask in a comment below or message me on Twitter.